How are y'all doing? You could not uh, see, but uh, before he turned around, he pulled his whole fist out of his mouth and a portion of his sweatshirt, too. <laughs> it is good to see you here. Uh, I, I thank God that God has brought you this way. And in the various ways that God uh, connected you with the people in this church, some you were already connected with. But the way God did that is, um, is the way God brings us together and places us in the lives of people that will help us along this journey called life and this journey of the Christian faith. And God will allow you to become part of helping others uh, in their journey of the Christian faith. And the one that you uh, automatically have the most opportunity and the most responsibility of helping them along the journey of their faith uh, is in your arms at this very moment. And I'm going to ask you in a little bit uh, to make some, uh, some expressions of commitment towards Him as it relates to God and as it relates to the community of faith, uh, the church, the body of Christ. Uh, I'm going to step up here and then I want you to face me, both of you. And I'm going to ask you to kneel and, and we, last of all, We'll baptize when you can. Uh, you may stand for just a moment. It's okay. <laughs> I like people who move on my very words and phrases. Uh, the two of you, uh, I'm going to ask you to remember your baptism, remember your profession of faith uh, in all of this. And I'm going to ask you, uh, along with both of you, I'm going to ask you to make your profession of faith and you will be baptized, and then that uh, puts you in a wonderful place uh, already baptized and making your profession of faith for then for me to ask you the question for when you uh, came. Uh, for both of you, Amber, and especially for you, uh, Tim, I ask these questions. As you come before us, and as you have traveled the journey that has brought you here uh, to become part of a community of faith, uh, in the church, the body of Jesus Christ. I ask you this question, these questions. Do you believe in God, the God who created the heavens and the earth, the God who is still actively working in this world to bring about God's purpose and will for all humanity, all mankind? And, the God, and that same God created you and created me, created us for relationship with God, and created us for relationship with one another. Do you believe in that God? who did all this creation. Do you believe that this God revealed God's self most clearly in the life and the love and the gift of Jesus Christ? Do you believe that and do you believe that Jesus Christ died for the sins of the world, but most of all, that Jesus died for your sins? And do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Do you? In asking Him that, I ask do you you, Amber, do you reaffirm that faith in God, that faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and in a moment remember your baptism? Do you do that? Now you may kneel. Tim, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amber, remember your baptism and keep it holy. Remember your profession of faith and live it in its fullness. Amen. You may rise. Now I ask you both this question. Uh, remember your baptism, experiencing your baptism, making your profession of faith, remembering your profession of faith. Do you now desire to live out that faith in this community of faith, Wesley Memorial United Methodist Church? And if so, will you support God's ministry in the life of this church to the fullest with the gifts of your time, your energy, and your resources? Will you do that? Then I welcome you as the newest members of this community of faith. Now, good morning. 
You may hold him for a moment, then I will take him from you. I know he, he's excited about this, I can tell. <laughs> uh, the God we talked about a moment ago uh, understood how important life is. Each and every life that God created is the most important life at that moment in time to God. And God uh, happens to create us in this manner, about this size, a little bit smaller to begin with, and realizes that, that in, the creative, in the creative process, there are people that will help God be the instruments of God to give life to new life. What a great joy and responsibility God has given you. You do realize that God looked at you and had great confidence in you when William Kane was given to you. I want you to look at him and know something. This is your child. This is our child. It's a community of faith. But first and foremost, this is a child of God. In everything that you do with Him, everything that you teach Him, every way you support Him, and every way you hold Him accountable in years to come, will you still look upon Him and understand this is a child of God. To be treated with love, respect, and supporting with every ounce of energy you have. Will you do that? What name uh, have you given this child? And you'll call him. Okay. Will, it is good to have you here today. See these two before you? They love you very deeply. They will do everything in their power to help you grow as a child of God. William Kane, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congregation, would you stand? Look upon your child. You are responsible to him because you are the body of faith, the church. You take vows to be the example and the strength that every child needs in this journey of faith. Will you do everything in your power to be the example, to give of your time and energy in every way, to give of your prayers and support for this family, that this child may have every chance in the world to grow in his faith and one day accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior on his own. If you will do that, say, with God's help, I will. With God's help, I will. Amen. You may be seated. Now, before I give him back to you, take a good look at him. Good God. Could God have created a better baby and child and human being than this? No. I give him back to you. God's blessings upon you. And there are baptismal certificates there if you would give them to them. At the end of the service, uh, after communion, I want you all to come back up here. And if he's where you can bring him back so that the congregation has an opportunity to come and uh, welcome you into the live church. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. It's yours. Thank you. This time I'd ask you to please stand and worship God's song to us. 